Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. In today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys about three vehicles that I think that are going to be coming back as DLC a little later on. Now, I have a lot of good proof for a lot of these vehicles are potentially coming back. So like I said, if you do like this video, please drop a like on the video. Let's shoot for something over a thousand likes or even more. Other than that, let's get started. All right, so the three vehicles I'm going to be talking about today are the Hydra, the Hunter, and the Skimmer. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, because I'm going to explain all these right now. So these are three vehicles that were removed from the game before launch. And the reason we know that is because they're either mentioned in in-game TV commercials, in-game ads, or they were spotted in one of the earlier trailers that uh, you know was released for the game maybe about a year or a year and a half ago. So the first one we're going to be talking about is the Hydra. And the Hydra is this military jet similar to the PP, is it like PPF laser in the game? PP96 laser, something like that. It's a military jet very similar to that, although it's got some different properties. You can see in the images that I'm showing you guys uh, on the screen right now that it's very different to the one that we see in the military base right now. Uh, the Hydra was last seen in GTA San Andreas, and it looks like it was cut from GTA 5 as it was not in GTA 4, and it wasn't a DLC in GTA 4 either. So the last time we saw this plane was actually in San Andreas about 10 years ago or so uh, during GTA San Andreas, obviously, and uh, it's really cool. So you can see the images right here. It was featured in the trailers 1 and 2, so definitely go look for them. I think it'd be really cool to see another military jet back in the game. I think that'd be awesome. The next one is the Hunter, and the Hunter is an attack helicopter. And you're saying, wait, Mr. Boss of the Wind, we already have the Buzzard, which is an attack helicopter as well. Well, this is different. The Buzzard actually falls under the category of small helicopters. Although it might be a war helicopter, it goes under the category of small helicopters. I'm talking about like a full-size Apache in this game. So the Hunter was confirmed in an in-game TV program and via the Life Invader website. I'll have both those images on the screen right now. And it was also featured in GTA Vice City and San Andreas. So it looks like it was cut from Grand Theft Auto 4, but it's definitely still a possibility is as a DLC. And finally, our last vehicle is the Skimmer. The Skimmer is an airplane that actually lands on water. Instead of having wheels or like landing gear, it just has these like flotation device buoys that you see on the side and it lands on water. So it's really cool. So this vehicle was spotted in trailer one and it was last seen in Vice City and San Andreas. And it looks like it was cut from GTA 5 right before launch so it's really cool that some of these vehicles are looks look to be still in the code of the game that gives me really good hope that we will probably see these vehicles sometime in the future because if it's in the code of the game it's very convenient for rockstar to turn around and make those into dlc vehicles so that's something that i do think they're going to do but then again that's just my best hypothesis so then that guys definitely leave a like on this video and also leave a comment down below what do you think of my three possibilities for dlc vehicles coming in the future and if you want to see more daily videos like this, hit the red button down below and you can subscribe to see all my daily content. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.